We're rolling sound, we're rolling video, we're rolling lights. My name is Bryce Rayan and I'm 20 years old. I am an actor and a music artist. It is currently March 10th, 2024. I feel uh, all right, kind of all over the place. Generally, I feel fine, a little tired. It was two Coke Zeros, one monster drink and water. I always carry around um, a water flask around me, some shrimp fried rice. If anybody's curious, I am from Florida, so Boca Raton, represent. Ariana Grande went to my rival school. She went to my rival school. So that's where I'm gonna leave that. Okay, on TikTok, I currently have 947 followers with 12.7K likes. On Instagram, it's 787 followers, which most of them are my friends, acquaintances. <laughs> and on YouTube, we're going steady with 265 subscribers. Ooh, biggest achievement so far would be the release of my first comeback EP. I had two different projects that I released in 2019 and in 2020. I'm not gonna lie, the sound was quite fucking atrocious. Like, I, I can't even start looking back to those projects. So I had to kind of revamp my entire shtick. I got into an honor society. That's, that's pretty cool. And I recently played Songwriters Club gig, uh, but the biggest performance that I had happened actually two years ago. It was the closing of the place called Ground Zero on USC campus. And there was like a whole ruffle. Your names had to be picked to perform because of how many people wanted to perform at the very last day before they tear the entire fucking thing down. And we got to play together with a good friend of mine, Cameron Davidson. First time I ever performed my original material in front of people, the whole venue was packed a good 200 people my creative peers are my biggest inspirations right now to just keep me going man <laughs> actually yes yes i started making gajillion posts on tiktok and some people made tiktoks like lip syncing to my song or just using my song in their videos it was well the most heartwarming thing i can just literally see that my music resonates with people and it just it fucking brings me joy i don't know <laughs> the biggest takeaway from my last project. I spent so much time drafting this project, figuring out the perfect lineup, figuring out all the sounds. Give or take, I do make it everything myself. Going forward, I do wanna involve more people and more help in the creative process and ask people for help. It's okay to ask for help. Well, as much as I would like to say that I would want everything to come to me sooner and everything has its own time and place, not to be like cliche, I wish I had released this project sooner. Everything was ready by September. I just fucking waited until December. I don't know why. <laughs> the thing I'm looking forward to, I guess the release of my next project and videos, music videos that I have and quite a few acting gigs, actually. Like I have a, a thing coming up in April. Quite a few things that I can look ahead to. It's a very exciting time to be alive. <laughs> you know, see, I, 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 <laughs> it feels like I'm back in the, some like freshman orientation. Oh, what's, what's, what, what's your major? What do you do here? I'm a theater major with songwriting and music business minor. Do I like my major? There, there were like a few things, a few moments where I really was considering switching my major to what is now my minor in music industry. I got a really good advice before ultimately being rejected from an internal transfer. As much as it hurts to say, there is like two roads for you and only one of them involves with you being an artist. So just do your thing, man. Just do your thing. I ultimately found the other major to be the best choice. Quite, I'm quite content where I'm right now. You know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. Gender studies class, amazing material. A lot of eye-opening stuff, especially me as a man, right? <laughs> um, honestly, it was a blast. Very eye-opening course. Yeah. Is college worth it? Well, I think that depends on how you define what worth it means for you. If you want to get like a job in something that you would need a degree in, I guess, yeah, it might be worth it. I am pursuing like a theater major. I think my biggest takeaway in terms of college being worth it is I am from a different state altogether and right now I'm in California meeting all of these wonderful, amazing people, wonderful, amazing, creative people. It's kind of worth it, but also thousands of dollars for education. I have my opinions.
<laughs> I have my opinions. I think college should be fucking cheaper. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think it should be cheaper. People might say, oh, just go to like state school or go to a community college because all of these like private colleges or whatever. But you know what? I, I think it should just should be cheaper, man. College advice. Talk to people like you've known them for 20 years. It's one of the things that I have learned here and it has helped me tremendously. It puts you out there. Graduation plans. Uh, I want to say kind of business as usual, making music, doing shows, auditioning. I have quite a few ideas, quite a few side projects that are not related to all of that at all. I don't want to reveal them because haters are going to sabotage me. If something is going to lead to an ultimately positive impact and if it's done in good faith, what can I say? Stop procrastinating and do it, Lamel. I'm not going to lie, I've been thinking about the creative direction of my art and my music aesthetics and everything. I want to do this crazy group project and I don't know what exactly it is. A band? A boy band or EDM crazy project. Doing something musically that is like completely unrelated like aesthetically and sonically from what I'm doing right now. The 1975, my favorite band. Feral Canadian Scaredy Cat by Young Friend. One of the best songs that I've discovered recently. I, I fucking love it. And the vi music video. Music video is f so fucking amazing for that song. Uh, just uh, feeling kind of like all over the place. Becoming an adult. Like, you know, I can never be a teenage idol anymore. I'm in my 20s. I'm kind of old, but I feel like kind of a kid. And there's all of these adult responsibilities. And right now I need to figure them out. I'm kind of missing my teenage years, but I cannot fight time. One day, or day one, ever since I was a kid, soccer. I actually, I'm getting around with um, quite a few friends of mine to play scrimmage soccer, like every Thursday, and it's been fucking amazing. I forgot how much I miss soccer in my life. My favorite team, Liverpool, having a pretty good season. Where's the nearest wood so I can knock on the... There we go. People who smoke cigarettes fucking piss me off. Fucking hate the smell of cigarettes, uh, of nicotine. It's never a good time when somebody starts lighting up a cigarette, or especially when they're smoking in a room. Get the fuck out of here, man. The Grand Budapest Hotel by Wes Anderson. Creme brulee, it's fucking mwah. Or, or, tiramisu. Either of those, yes, yes. Partially why I'm starting this, honestly. I saw a letter to myself that I recorded when I was 16. And um, I looked at myself and I was like, <laughs> whatever I was doing, man. <laughs> the amount of cringe that I went through, just going through this video of me talking when I was 16 about my goals and aspirations, I was like, man, you know when you have like this idea, conception of you in the past when you wish like you would have done all of this stuff in the past, but then you actually see like a snapshot of yourself in the past and they were just like, no, you don't know shit. You don't know what you're talking about, man. Mm -mm. You were not mature enough to receive any of the significant attention for your art. Not because the art was bad, well, even... I could say myself that it was, was not of the greatest quality. Maturing and growing up is good. If I'm being honest, if in a year from now, I just don't cringe at myself at this, I am gonna be kind of disappointed. At least an iota, a really good moment of cringe of being like, ah, I wanna fucking rip my skin off. Spending more time with people I love, really. Just spending more time attending all of these parties, doing all of these awesome things instead of being locked in my fucking room just doing shit. In the moment you think you were sacrificing all this time, but then when you look back, all you can think about is just the time you wanted to spend with the people you love. My girlfriend, I love her a lot, man. She's currently in Big Bear and I get to borrow her room to make this video with a few people here. So, I'm a liar, it's just me. It's just me in this room. There are no people here. I, it's all, all my, I just um, got to borrow this room while she's in Big Bear, but I, but I miss her a lot, man. How much time did you spend doing the things you love? We are doing this for 10 years straight, all throughout my 20s, so even if you don't know who I am, 
stick around because this is gonna happen for the next fucking 10 years. I guess this is it. Bye. See you in a year.